Well, there we go, a lovely striped donkey. High up on the escarpment in the short grasses, there's quite a few of them. They've moved down from the top of the escarpment. Oh, where are my binoculars? I have spotted something else. What have I spotted in the distance? I'm not sure yet. Oh, it's more zebra. They're just very far away. <laughs> and the same thing. <laughs> Jamie said she saw the same thing. Also grabbed binoculars. Um, but now, as you can see, it's it's beautiful up here. It's quite a bit cooler than where we were earlier, as we we're quite high up on the escarpment. And uh, the zebras are slowly, uh, surely, as it, we move into our dry season, uh, getting further and further down. And uh, I'm going to ask Dave to pan off the zebras to the sea of grass that is to the south of us. Now, when I arrived, most of that grass had a greenish tinge to it. And, I mean, you can even see uh, it's, it's got quite yellow. But what I find absolutely gorgeous is you can see the red um, of uh, the Thamida. You see it there, Dave? You can see that Thermida grassland, that lovely red top that they get their name from. So in southern Africa, uh, we call it Natal red top or Natal red grass. Uh, in East Africa, they call it uh, red oats grass. But it is a Thermida triandra, one of the best grazing grasses around. And the wildebeest are coming for it. And uh, they are probably about 30 kilometers south of the... Kenyan border at the moment, so they should be arriving in the next couple of weeks, and isn't that just so exciting? And it is just an amazing view from up here. I mean, I, we can see 30, 40 kilometers from up here, even more actually, 50, 60, 100 kilometers. It is stunning. Now, some topi steeping in the grass down there, they're still warming up. Hello, topi. They are such funny looking animals. Heidi is wondering where is north, south, east and west. So Heidi, I will wait for Dave to zoom towards us or towards me. Hi Heidi. So Heidi is wondering where is north, south, east and west. Um, so Heidi, that is south where we were looking at that beautiful red grass. And uh, pretty much over final control, or a little bit to the right of final control, is west. A little bit to the right of final control is west. And of course, east is then directly behind us. Uh, Dave's, I didn't know you could do, go swing that far, Darby. Well, we can if you have to. So there's west uh, directly behind us. And of course, that leaves only north, which is over there. There we go, Heidi. Oh, north, south, east, west. Now, oh, before we look at that, look at those triple, uh, triple skirchies. The triple skirches underneath the balanites. Isn't that, ah, that's beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. The vistas here are just to die for. And every single time I, I come out, I just get blown away by it. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to say goodbye to you, uh, but of course, Taylor and Ali will continue on in the drive. We have to get to a little, uh, well, not a little, we have to, Steph and, Steph, myself and Jamie have to go to a meeting, um, and to give you an idea how far that meeting is, let's go across over there, Dave. Um, okay, you see where Serena Hill is? Uh, to the right. Yep, okay, so go beyond it. So, a little bit to the left. A little bit to the left. So you see those barely pale hills in the distance. <laughs> That's where our meeting is. So we've got a long way to go. Uh, I'm going to go pick up Steph and then we're going to head uh, across towards Kikarok for our meeting. So as it, it's a, a short but sweet uh, sunrise safari from the Mara. It's been great having you with us. And uh, of course, hopefully, and um, if our meeting ends early enough, uh, we'll see you on the sunset safari. Who knows, maybe we'll even force Steph to say hello, because he might be stuck in the car with us. That could be fun. I'll go Uncle, Uncle Steph, a uh, very busy man trying to get camp finished and everything uh, done at the moment. But as I say, yeah, so we're going to head back up the hill, go fetch Steph, um, grab some more water, and then set off on our about. It's probably about a 220 kilometer round trip um, to where we're going, and we've got to be there at 12. 
Now, speaking of driving and someone who's not going to drive as far as us, uh, let's go back to Taylor in South Africa.